everyone and welcome to this video in this in this video I'm going to review the Python for data science and machine learning bootcamp from Udemy by the great teacher Jose Portilla now if you guys can check my channel that I already reviewed a lot of data science courses most of them are from DataQuest and DataCam but since some of the some of you don't like DataCam and DataQuest uh, I'm going to sh literally show you all the courses that I uh, I took uh, when I started my journey in data science and one of these courses it was this course and I'm telling you guys this is one of the best courses I have taken you can see, see that I, I bought it in 2017 and one of the best things that they keep updating this course now let's just check quickly what you're going to learn in this course it's uh, it was you, you uh, I think it was like 17 or 12 hours before but now they keep adding stuff so it's now 25 hours uh, 13 articles and five downloadable resources uh, now basically one of the best thing I liked about this course that it uh, give you a crash course about Python and then give you a crash course about pandas which is the a library for data analysis and then crash course for Seaborn matplotlib and plotly which are used for data visualization and then Jose immediately start picking each machine learning algorithms and start explaining it in details but with in details but without the math but it will give you the general overview and, and after each section uh, we're going to have a project let's just check together okay you're going to learn Python okay no though he got another course which is exactly the same but he's using R okay so uh, he also explained NLP which is natural language processing he also explained neural networks which are the found uh, backbone or the foundation of uh, deep learning and he also teaches scikit-learn which is a library used for machine learning projects now let's go to the core uh, let's wait 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 you can see that after we finish these sections we're going to have a capstone before we even go to the machine learning because here you're going to learn a crash course in Python and in NumPy NumPy is a library for uh, uh, mathematical um, uh, processes and pandas is for data frames and then we have exercise and then we have matplotlib and seaborn and plotly and geographical plotly these are for all for data visualizations even pandas has its own built-in data visualization but usually matplotlib and seaborn are amazing you have something called bouquet i don't think he explained bouquet but you can check bouquet later on and then after you learn all these things you're gonna have a capstone where you apply everything you learn here in this capstone and then we're going to start with machine learning the basics you know what is supervised what is unsupervised wh what are the classifications what are regressions you know and then we start with linear regression and here we uh, take the I think uh, Boston house prices prediction we will check it right now and then we have cross validation and bias trade-off this is very important guys and logistic regression I think here we take uh, the Titanic data set and then we have NLP natural language processing he also got a standalone NLP course which is amazing and we have neural nets and I like that he also explained big data and the spark and Amazon SageMaker I think it's semi SageMaker and yeah, basically he, he gives you a bunch of cobons for his uh, upcoming uh, courses he almost taught two million students just click on go to the course and let's see let's see we have course introduction we have resources basically in resources you have all the files all this uh, not the slides but all the files that you need uh, for this course and then we have environmental setup which is basically teaches you how to download uh, anaconda and then give you an updated uh, notebooks for the Jupyter notebooks let's just click here and see hello everyone and welcome to the Jupyter notebooks lecture 
this lecture, we'll be showing you how to effectively use the Jupyter Notebook system, giving you a tour of the overall environment. Also, check out the resources for this lecture in order to just walk through how the Jupyter, you can always just... Basically, this uh, video shows you how to open the notebooks that you're going to uh, download it from here. Now, I actually finished this course but they added some sections so I did not finish those sections but I did finish like two or three years ago I finished this course uh, after he explains you know the fundamentals how to uh, check the course the uh, frequently asked questions and help and then he started giving you how to prepare the environment anaconda and all the stuff and how to open the Jupyter notebooks that comes with the course immediately we're going to start with Python crash course now this crash course is very comp not comprehensive, but basically it's explained to you the, you know like data types, if if loops, uh, sorry, data types, if and loops, uh, functions, you know the basics, and then he gives you like a uh, an exercise to do it, and then he gives you the solution for the exercise. It's, just, it's it's good, you know, but in to be a real data scientist, you need to know Python. Uh, and you need to know object oriented and you need to know that data structure in Python but here he just uh, explain you the topics that you need only for this course but I mean look if you are a complete beginner and you have literally no idea about data science and machine learning this course is like a c the, the entire course the 25 hours course is actually a crash course for the field of data science like if, if you guys check uh, my data camp uh, that a scientist with Python track review, and uh, now that track is really, really comprehensive. Uh, it like it has uh, 22 courses, 77 hours or something like that, and it does explain more stuff than than this course. But I would highly recommend that you take this course first, and then you go to the, that course. You will be able to catch up immediately, and you will see some overlaps. So you can just skip a few things, like maybe the first a few chapters in the Python crash course. Uh, and the Python courses in data camp. So here we have like a, a crash course, part two, part three, let's say, and part two, let's see what is he going to explain to us. Yeah, dictionaries and index and indices and how to grab the data from, from a, a list or dictionary. Um, the part four maybe is gonna be functions. I don't remember, I took it like three years ago. Now let's say I wanted to actually apply this. Yeah, this, this type of stuff. He even got his own uh, standalone Python uh, course, which, which is a very comprehensive one, one of the best one actually. But it's gonna be for another video. After we finish the Python crash course, we immediately go for data analysis, and we use NumPy for that. NumPy basically is uh, a library used for computation for mathematical computations. So if you have an array, uh, some equations and stuff, we're basically going to use this uh, NumPy and uh, if you want to do, let's say, linear regression from scratch, but we were basically going to be using scikit-learn. But as a data scientist, you should know NumPy, Matplotlib, Seaborn, Bouquet, Plotly, scikit-learn, um, TensorFlow, you know, this type of uh, library. You're going to learn it uh, later on. Uh, here, we take a NumPy crash course. Again, it's a crash course. Then we take pandas crash course. Look, crash course doesn't mean that we're not going to learn some useful stuff. A crash course basically means that you're going to learn which are things important for you to understand the machine learning section. You know, he's not going to teach you everything because it's going to be a lot, but he teaches you enough to let you understand what's coming for the machine learning. Like. For this course, the Python crash course is suitable. But if you want to become a real data scientist, you need to know uh, object-oriented and uh, data structure and you know like, like what Python programmers uh, know. So here we're going to learn about what is a panda, series, data frames. Let's just check here. Data frames lecture. In this lecture, we're going to finally learn about data frames building off of the series object. Data frames is going to be their main tool when working with pandas. Let's go ahead and jump to the Jupyter Notebook to see how it all works. All right, here I am at the Jupyter Notebook. I'm going to go ahead and say import NumPy as MP and import pandas as PD. Basically, data frame is like whenever we download any data set from Kaggle or we get the data set from anywhere, we transfer it or we convert it into a CSV file and then we 
add that CSV file inside our Jupyter Notebook and then we use pandas to transform that CSV file into a data frame. Basically, data frame is going to allow me to add columns, remove rows, um, do some uh, statistical analysis like uh, df.summary, uh, df.info, sorry. It's going to give me some uh, data. So data frames is like uh, main thing in uh, any data science or machine learning project. And then you're going to have some exercise for whatever the things that we learn here. And then immediately we're going to start with matplotlib. Again, it's all crash courses. We still haven't started the machine learning. It's all preparation for the machine learning section. Because everything we're going to learn here, we're going to actually apply it in the machine learning projects. Uh, matplotlib, a crash course in matplotlib, and a crash course in uh, Seaborn, uh, pandas, built-in data visualization. Um, you're gonna like you guys are gonna like Seaborn. I'm, I'm telling you from now. And then we have Plotly and Keflings, and we have geographical plotting. And then everything we learn until now, we're going to apply it in this project, which is financial project. And then the solution is in three parts. Okay, basically going to be data set. You're going to be analyzing the data sets, uh, drawing some plots and charts and stuff. Everything you guys learn in this sections you'll be applying here it's going to be like a, a complete eda or a complete and detailed uh, exploratory data analysis after that we're going to start with the basics of machine learning supervised learning and supervised learning um, the met uh, classification error metrics are used the regression error metrics uh, which are used for regression and classification uh, and then you're going to start with the linear regression. Let's just take a linear regression uh, overview. I think it's Boston uh, House pr price prediction. Fletcher, we're going to go to find this linear regression project exercise. Code build the background for this project. You just got some contract work with an e that can go home, and they type those are fine that you may want to instantly. Okay, probably the project is different. It's not the house uh, Boston house prediction. It's maybe it was the this one. Uh, yeah, this one. Segmented into. Yeah, here. It's uh, see, it's uh, average area income house age and area numbers. This is the house prediction. So basically, the exercise is teaching us it's the Boston house price prediction. Why this that set is important? This is like uh, fundamental. Uh, data set that you're going to actually find it in every course and uh, this data set is actually from uh, uh, Kegel competition so once you finish this video I would highly recommend that you go to the Kegel and you enroll to that competition and whatever the results you, you're gonna get with uh, this exercise upload it to, to start making a Kegel profile same thing for the Titanic data set and then you're going to learn about bias, variance, and trade-off. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. He did not explain this thing uh, in details. You can, I think you can find there are a lot of people are asking about uh, uh, bias and various trade-off. And this thing is very important. So you might gonna end up uh, reading some article on Medium or Analytics Vidya to understand what this thing is. He did explain it, but I'm going to be honest with you. He did not explain it in that much detail. And you should know about it. But overall, the course is amazing. It's an amazing course. It's one of the main courses that you should take uh, before you enroll in a detailed uh, track. Y you know, it's like before you w go and watch a movie, you watch a trailer, and then you watch another trailer, and then you watch the review but without spoilers. So you can know if it's worth your time and uh, so you can know if this movie you're going to like it or not. This course is like the first trailer before you enroll in a, uh, let's say, data, camp data science with Python track. I hope you get the idea. And then you're going to learn about logistic segregation. Here's going to be a Titanic data set. And then he's going to take the main algorithms that every data scientist should know. Can nearest neighbor, decision tree, random forest work, vector machine, k-mean, clustering, principal command analysis, commander system. And then this is a whole new area in machine learning, which is natural language processing. Basically, it's going to be about um, how we do sentiment analysis, text classification. You know, uh, the, da the data that you're going to have, it's going to be text. 
he did uh, I mean the crash course is amazing but he got a standalone course which is uh, really good for people who are in um, interested in NLP and NLP is one of the hottest topic in machine learning and then we have neural nets which are the backbone of uh, deep learning now if you guys can see I haven't taken the um, neural nets in deep learning because he got two courses for deep learning one is from tensorflow the other one is in pytorch and i think i have the tensorflow course and i learned from it or from another course so again the and uh, neural nets is like a backbone for deep learning okay and uh, let's see it's, it's a lot of details here and then he explained about big data and spark and how to use it for big data actually gonna end up learning on uh, Amazon uh, web services and EC2 and SageMaker which is uh, gonna be a very very um, uh, great uh, addition on your profile that you know how to use Spark for big data and yeah that's it that's a crash course uh, overall uh, now I'm gonna be honest with you guys he did not explain the statistics and you should know statistics he did not explain linear algebra calculus you know this the math stuff but again i'm telling you the entire course is a crash course for the field of machine learning and data science i mean uh, data quest uh, data science track he, they they do explain statistics and calculus and everything in details so i would say that data science uh, data quest data science track and data camp data science track is like a movie and this and the other courses that i'm going to show you in the next videos is going to be like a trailer and you know when you go and buy a book you don't just pick a book immediately you know you just uh, check the first cover check the back cover you read table of contents if you have internet you're going to check if the reviews are good or not and then you're going to buy the book you have to do some research about the book same thing for the movie you watch a trailer you watch another trailer you watch uh, a review without spoilers so you can know you know most of the movies uh, nowadays you watch the trailer and you're, gonna, and, you, and you're like wow this movie is going to be amazing and when you go to the cinemas and you watch the movie you're like what the hell man so this course and the upcoming udemy courses i'm going to be uh, reviewing these are like crash courses if you are interested in the field of data science and machine learning i would highly recommend that you guys take this course entire course so you can know what are the things that you're going to get in a more detailed track you either pick a book or you enroll into data camp or data quest a track i'm going to be um, honest with you both are good most of the people they don't like reading books because most of the books going to be have some mathematical equations and there are textbooks and they're a little bit boring so they end up in data camp or data quest um, both of them are good both of them i reviewed them in details on my videos and if you haven't liked and subscribed till now i mean like what are you waiting please like and subscribe and share this video with whoever you think is going to be benefited from this video and you might want to use the link in my description because sometimes you they have uh, co-bonds and uh, sales sometimes they don't have but i think if you're going to to um, click on the link in description for this course you're gonna definitely gonna get some nice coupon okay thank you so much see you in the next video bye bye